My friends, there are private clubs, and then there's Bighorn. Let's take a look. Now, Bighorn has been here since the 90s, Palm Desert, California. This clubhouse was finished about six years ago, so we're gonna give it the, uh, the old Mr. Short Game try. Take a look at all the goodies that await you here at Bighorn. And to freshen up, this is what uh, you would enjoy. Beautiful waterfall shower. Just imagine yourself. This will be the review portion of the video. We have the chili, chicken noodle, and potato soup. We'll start off with the potato soup. That's a 10 out of 10. Now chicken noodle, I would say I'm a little bit more of an expert in that area. Mm, 10 out of 10. Now let's check out the chili. Bighorn chili. That's like the best chili I ever had. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to get ready to golf. Let's go play some golf. Let's first check out the uh, short game area here at Bighorn. Obviously, my favorite spot to enjoy when I go to a, a great facility. And great facilities should have a great place to practice your short game. This looks pretty awesome already. And in case you're wondering, I'm using my uh, set of Edel clubs today. I'll let you know, I'll give you a little review on course. Got wedges, irons. These are adjustable weighted set up here in the back. You move these around, dial it into your specifications. Solid bonus points for a uh, little pyramid here, short game. All right, this is perfect sand for practice. There's just something about a great practice area that if it's great, I just feel better. Like I'm more confident in my own abilities at a high-end practice facility. Nice uh, rye grass here, I believe, and uh, awesome bunkers. Practice area for short game. Solid, like nine to 10, I think. The only thing that would make this better is if I can do like 80 yard shots, which you could, but I have to go way over there. So if you could do that, it's 10 to 10. Otherwise, nine to 10, solid. I mean, I got pretty good, like 30 yarders. That one went in. This camera, you can see it on the camera. Gorgeous looking range, double-sided. It looks like coaching lessons on the backside. And well, I got the whole place to myself right now. That's my kind of golf. Hitting off grass today. You should hit off grass every day unless there's some type of rainstorm, but all is good. I need to set you up with big horn wooden tees. Thank you very much. We're rocking the Titleist Pro V1X practice balls here at Big Horn. First class all the way around. For that alone, this range gets a 10 of 10. All right, here at Bighorn, they have 36 holes. They have the mountain course and the canyons course. Today, we're playing the mountain course. We're gonna tip it out, gold tees, take you on the full tour of this gorgeous 18 holes. First hole is 503 yard par five. Whew. And uh, you gotta hit the green stuff out here in the desert. Good start here. A little downwind, 215 is what the number is. A little downwind, so I'm going for iron here. Let's see what happens. Stay there. Look, I don't know if I've seen this before. Look at this. The rake is underground. Comment below. Let me know if you've ever seen the rake like container there. That's awesome. A little left to right. It's my new Edel wedge, 60 degree wedge here. Go. And not my best, but I am putting. All right, little 24 footer, little break, slight break left to right. Let's see if we can sneak one in. Oh, these greens feel good. Stay there. Oh. All right, easy par first hole. I like easy pars. All right, two here is 376 yard par four. And uh, we just want to kind of place it down there. Take a three wood. All right, we're about 90 yards left. Uphill, got a 56 degree Edel wedge. Let's see how she 
I haven't played with these on course, so curious. Hmm. Pushed it a little. Felt good though. Oh. What do you guys think of this place so far? Pretty spectacular here. Cool thing about uh, Bighorn is this whole community of homes, it's all like encapsulated. They have shops and restaurants and everything. So with your membership here, if, if you remember, all of it is included. The restaurants, the everything. It's part of your membership. So you'll have to Google the price to see how much it costs or call somebody but it's it's up there that's for sure and it's it's worth it all right 507 yard par five third hole split uh, fairway down there a little bit i got a five wood here and then just try to put a good swing on her should be pretty good well not the most ideal layup, put in the bunker. Probably about 60 yards. I'm gonna go 56 degree, play like a bunker shot. Oh, I put it in the other bunker from one to the next. Perfect. You know, I played it too far out to the right and too far. Wow, that rolls. Oh, that is quick. Ooh. All right, bogey. 190 yard par three downhill. Going back into the wind. Whew, a lot of wind up there. I'm just gonna play the number. Got the five iron. Little deal here, 60 degree. Gotta feel it out. That's where I wanted it. Settle, turn, turn. Oh, that was close. All right, looks like I have about a 10 footer for par. A little right to left. Hmm. Beautiful hole here, number five, 283 yard par four. We're just gonna lay up, put her in the fairway. It's a big fat fairway down there. I wanna be in that with the birdie chance. Best swing I've had in a week. I'm back. All right, a little 45 yarder, 60 degree wide. Just try to spin one in there. Come on. Hopefully it comes back just a little. All right, I got about a seven footer or so, seven, eight footer. Downhill slider guy. All right, let's see if we can rock in a birdie here. Got one. Uh, nice read. All right, number six, 505, par four. It's like you gotta hit a straight downhill. Four iron, just hit the green stuff. All right, fairway. Half the job is done. All right, we got 222. It's downhill, so it's playing probably two. We're gonna go that five iron. Just get a good uh, solid swing on it. Try to put it on the, the, the green somewhere. It looks pretty straightforward, little pitch shot. It's in between a chip and a pitch goes down and then back up. Looks like it goes off to the right. The valley's down that way, so it's gotta break toward the valley. Just gotta deal with this sticky ryegrass. I'm just picking, all I do is pick where I wanna land the ball. Oh, I didn't do it. That is sticky. All right, saved one there. Man, these greens are pure as can be. I'm guessing they're rolling probably a 12, 11 or 12. They feel great. I know this area's had a lot of rain last couple of years or last few months, so things are looking spectacular. Spectacular, that's for sure. All right, seventh hole, 364 yard par four. I'm gonna go with that four iron again. It's been treating me really well on these shorter holes, so we're sticking with her. A little downwind. All right, fairway again. Second shot, we calculated this at like 145. So I'm going nine iron here. Just trying to get my aim right. Stay a little left of that flag was the advice from the caddy. Look right at it, you right. Woo, that felt good. All right. Ooh, that Edel nine iron felt pretty good right there. Hit, didn't stop coming down wind. 
Oh, what about a full footer? Hopefully we can finish her off. I just didn't give it the speed it needed. Dang it. You can't decel on putts. Sometimes when they're real close and you've got a birdie putt, you, you slow it down and you peak. That's what I did. Decel equals no putt goes in the hole. All right, eight. Got 202. It's playing 190. That's oh, okay. I'm going hard six iron. Just a nice little, just put my draw in there. I didn't tote it a little. Come on, draw a little bit more. Nah, short. Wrong club. All right, a little up and down here. Just getting used to this ryegrass. It's been a minute since I've played on this stuff. Settle down right there. This is why you got to make those four footers for birdie. Because every now and then you're going to have these long ones for par. And it just makes life a lot harder than it needs to be. At least we're going back uphill. I killed it. I hit it. Eh, that was good speed. Hit it good. Well, bogey. Golf giveth and golf taketh away. But it just didn't give it on the last hole. All right, number nine, 459 yard, par four. All right, I have about 195 left here. All right, I'm gonna hit my five iron. Just try to um, keep it up that right side. A little right of the hole, a little draw in there, smooth swing. I'll tell you, there is not a hair or blade of grass out of place here at Bighorn. I mean, everything is just, <laughs> it's off the chain. That's what I'm saying. All right, a little uphiller, probably a 20 footer. I'm gonna go touch right. Ah, oh, I didn't hit it. All right, good par. Tough little hole. I think I'm plus three on the front nine here, but still uh, pretty good, pretty good. We got uh, some good scoring opportunities coming up. Let's see if we can keep the swing groove in the... What do you think of this place so far? It's pretty epic, huh? I don't know how I got in, to be honest with you. So we're taking you to the uh, halfway house. I guess it's a halfway house. It's more of what they call the marketplace here at Bighorn. That's what I was talking about. Like, if you're a member here, this, this is all part of the deal. All right, so what can I get you? I mean, they got loaves of bread. You could shop halfway through the round. You get a bottle of wine, you want some Grey Goose. That's probably not free. <laughs> That's probably not included. <laughs> you can chill out and do some work here, plug in. Click on the Wi-Fi. Look at this. You can feed your puppy while you're here. I don't think I've ever seen that on the golf course. This will be the golf cart review portion of the video. Here we have the Tempo Li Ion or Lion. We're rocking the cart number 67. This is your standard everyday golf cart with one giant exception. We'll get to that in just a second. This has a flip up, flip down screen. We keep it up because we have the GoPro we're filming and so it's wind resistance kind of thing. So that's why it is up. It's got everything you need inside. It's got a nice uh, video monitor, Bluetooth display on the uh, upper portion of the golf cart with two speakers. And so in case you want to rock out to some music, that is there for your enjoyment. We have the cart on the driver's side to carry, let's say your uh, sand and divot repair uh, materials. And on the other side, your club car cooler for your uh, nice ice cold water. And the seats are nice cushioned uh, seats with like a nice upholstery on there. It's beautiful. But now to the one huge exception, these are the fastest golf carts I've ever ridden in my entire life. Therefore, these carts get a perfect score, 10 out of 10, in the golf cart review portion of this. Of golf cart. This. They're fast. We got the back nine, tenth hole, 421 yard par four. A little uphill. Swing's feeling good. Pretty good down the middle. A little thin, thin to win. Down here, I got 155 back up here. It's kind of the number we're going with. I'm going eight iron. Try to smooth it. Ball's slightly above my feet, so I gotta choke down a minute. I think we're putting. I'm not 
her. Almost. Had the line. Had the line. Just, you know, these just, just want a two putt. You just want to get in there and make par, which I'm happy about. All right. Good start to the back nine. 197 yard par three. It's probably going to play about 180 downhill. I'll tell you what I love about this course is these par threes are downhill. I love downhill par threes. They just look beautiful. It's a solid swing and six iron at it. About 33 feet here, pretty quick. And trickle down to the hole. Oh, if I hit it, it's got a chance. Oh, you little dog! That's a heart. That's a heartbreaker right there. That thing was tracking. Take it. Get a little par here. Let's tricky par three. Love this. It's a good hole. 12 hole, 541 yard par five. Kind of a blind tee shot here. There's a chimney out there that I was told to kind of go at, so I will lay in at that bit. Just a little left of it. You see? I'm pulling out the lumber. We're gonna go for this. I can't go for it at the flag because I can't reach and it'll get wet. So I gotta aim pretty good left here. Kind of at the bunkers on the left side of the green and try to go that way. Those are easy. All right, 13, 391 yard par four. Pretty straight away here. Beautiful house on the cliff up there too. No, just in the right rough. Not horrible. All right, we got 125 is the number we're playing. I'm gonna go with my 48 degree Edel T-Grind wedge. First time I ever hit this on the golf course. <laughs> oh, it's right at it. Be the number, baby. Sit down right there. Might have to hang on to this bad boy. <laughs> All right, a little eight footer for birdie here. It's quick. Quick little downhiller. Oh, yes. That thing was hanging in there. All right. Two in a row. A few of these throughout the course. We're on the 14th hole. It's like a little um, refreshment area. Got water here. Get your water. What else we got? More water. There's a lot of water. What else? Oh, orange. And um, would you like an apple? He wants an apple too. There you go. You're good. You're set. Let's go play golf. 14 is a 425 yard par four. Slight dog leg left. Little downwind today. Just on the left edge of the fairway. I think they hung in there. All right, hung in there on the fairway. Playing about 155 second shot. I'm going to eight iron here. Pretty good, just right of the flag. I think I rolled down the slope. We're good, we're putting. It was closer where it landed. It's a big ridge here. Double little, little double breaker, looks like. All uphill, so. I'm trying to feel it out here. Come back right. Oh, I mean, I'm happy with that. Like, you don't expect to make those, but car, car's good with a 40 foot putt for birdie, so tough one. I'm loving these green speeds. Like there, my ball has not taken one weird hop, nothing. There's no imperfections in these greens. I haven't seen that in a long time. It's like perfect. All right, 15, 505 yard, par five. Pretty straight, what you see is what you get here. Hit the fairway, and you got a chance. Put it on. I hit that really good. Right side of the fairway. I was told to hit it as hard as you can down the hill. I think I did it. We got 220 going into the uh, par five. A little downhill lie, a little bit. I'm gonna go four iron. Just aim the right side of the green here. And uh, keep, keep my miss off to the right. Oh, it's gotta carry. Go! Oh. It did carry. Well, I hit right here and it rolled in the agua. At least I can get it. No Mr. Short game ball left behind. The good news is this is red stakes. And since I 
carried it, I get to drop where it went in, no closer to the hole, and it went in on this side, so that's good. Just drop it here. Beautiful. So I can still get up and down to save par. I mean, I wish it was a tap and birdie, because they're doing pretty good here on the back nine, but things happen. I'm just grateful, hit in the water, still made par. Don't ever quit. So funky lie back there. Things happen, you have to keep moving on. 16 Bighorn Mountains course, 436 yard, par four, slight dog leg to the right. That felt good. I like that swing. All right, we have 150 second shot here, a little into the wind, so we're playing at 150. I'm going eight iron because the pin's up front, so I don't want to be off the green short. I want to make sure I get it there. Mm, hit it very good. Good lesson, even though I hit it right and bad, I'm long, so I've got plenty of green to work with. That's why I went the eight iron instead of a nine iron. Because with the same shot on a nine, I'd have no green to work with. It'd be a much more difficult up and down. So I went with uh, percentages here. Not too bad here. A little right to left here, look down the hill. Oh, a huge hop left. I just took a giant hop to the left. I didn't see that happening. Whew, hanging in there, two holes to go. Playing good on this backside. Got a little more comfortable off the tee and uh, the swing's feeling pretty good right now. Can we get back to even par? Can we do it? Can we do it? All right, 17th here is 172 yard par three. Gorgeous hole here, uh, spectacular in every way. Love all the colors here of the desert. I'm going seven iron. I'm just trying to hit my shot in there. I want to stay a little left of the flag. I'm gonna go like at the flag with a little draw. Just kind of work it away from the uh, water, just a touch. Well, I drew it, that's for sure. All right, just over in the left rough. Too much to draw. Well, well, well. Looky here, I get a drop. I hit the path there and it ricocheted up here. So we get a drop, no near the hole. We get to place it right there, which is helpful. All right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> a ton of spin on it, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can finish that off. I'm looking like it's gonna break just a touch to the right. Pretty straight in, there's not much to this. Oh, it broke left, it went left. You know what, I'll tell you what, after that tee shot where it was, a bogey's not bad. I certainly wanted to try to get the even par for the day, but that's all right. We still got, you know, got a chance. What a great hole. All right, finishing hole here, 18, 426 yard par four, heading back to the epic clubhouse. Let's finish this puppy off in style. Now we're fine, just down the right hand side. Good look in. All right, we have 190 second shot here. <laughs> this is epically gorgeous. I'm gonna go six iron, a little downwind. Let's try to get a birdie putt here. Turn a little more, baby. I hit it really good. All right, just pin high right. I'll take that all day. That was good, that felt great. All right, let's see what we can do here. Got a quick downhill chip. I'm just kind of getting it on and letting it race down to the hole. Oh my gosh, come on, dog. I made that. Oh, thought it went in. All right, everyone, I hope you had an awesome time here at Bighorn. I know I did. What a spectacular day. A little rough front nine, but man, came through on the back. What's extra exciting about this is there's gonna be a part two because they have another nine and something special extra special coming at you. Thanks for watching guys. Love you. See you in the next video. Oops. I need my wedge. <laughs>